Hi, I'm Chetin. I'm a systems engineer at Satisfy. In this video, we will be introducing and demonstrating our new 256 element electronically steered multi-beam antenna for the KU band. The antenna is driven by the Satisfy multi-beam and multi-band digital beam former chip Prime and the Satisfy KU band RFIC chip Beat, which were introduced in the first video. Here is our antenna panel. On the front of the antenna panel, we can see the 256 elements placed in a 16 by 16 square lattice. On the rear of the panel, we can see the eight prime digital beamformer chips, four on each side, with each prime driving eight beat RFIC chips. The antenna is fully configured and controlled via the Satisfy antenna control application. We are testing the antenna in an anechoic chamber where the antenna panel is mounted on a revolving positioner. The data to be transmitted can be sent to the prime network on the antenna, either from a modem over a high-speed SIRDES link or as we are demonstrating on this setup, from the antenna control application running on a PC over an SPI connection. Up to 32 beams can be transmitted from the antenna in the desired steering angles. The transmitted signal is received by a horn antenna at the other end of the chamber and sent back to a spectrum analyzer outside the chamber for measurements. The positioner is rotated in the horizontal and vertical planes to collect radiation patterns. In the first demo, we will configure the antenna to transmit a single beam at various steering angles and do a sweep over the polar plane. First, we will configure the antenna to transmit the beam at boresight. We are setting the polar sweep range from minus 90 degrees to plus 90 degrees. Next, we initialize the system and start the sweep. As you can see in the first plot, in blue, the main lobe is formed at boresight as configured from the application. Similarly, the green and orange curves show the antenna beam forming at minus 30 degrees and plus 30 degrees, respectively. In the second demo, we will be showing three beams steered in different directions simultaneously. The main lobe for the first beam, shown in green, is now visible at minus 15 degrees. As the positioner is rotated, the main lobe for the second beam at boresight has now also appeared, as shown in blue. The third beam is also now visible at plus 30 degrees as configured. Thanks for watching.